everybody, it's Debbie here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am starting a little makeover project. It's not going to be a huge makeover. I have this desk and it is a just a straight 1950s school desk. I bought it at a used furniture place 25 years ago um, and it's just a five foot square desk typical teacher's desk with a shallow drawer on one side. Now, I've been using this over the years. The top finish has come off. We used it for a kitchen table for a long, long time. But um, I used it for a craft desk without refinishing it or anything. Now, the tabletop is really smooth, and it's hardly got any finish left on it at all. So I think I'm going to grab some of my chalk paint, and I'm going to paint the top of the table. Now, what I'm doing, now you have to excuse the mess, because this is definitely a work in progress. This is my living room, guys, and it is an absolute disaster. Everything is all over the place. Uh, I'm trying to organize. So as you organize, you just keep moving stuff. I also have this little drawer that goes underneath. Right now it's green, but I'm looking for a smaller bin drawer that's just black and white that will replace that one eventually. Something very plain or even a little tiny, like a night table size piece with some drawers in it that will fit under the table. I'm trying to turn this into a little uh, office desk, planner, station in my living room. I live in a teeny tiny house. Like we have two floors, total 650 square feet, maybe. Um, maybe 700 if I counted the closets. Yeah, so, and we don't have very many of those. So yeah, we bought a really old farmhouse style tiny house, tiny two bedroom house. And my craft room is just too small to multi-use. It's not, I can't use it as a craft room and an office space. It's just too small. So this fits here. I can open the door. Coming around this place, that's my next hall hanging there. Coming around here, I have some pictures and I have these. So this is just a pair of shutters that I've and I think what I'm going to do is paint them the same color as the desktop and melt them on the wall behind the desk. What do you think? So if you melt your shutter, you can put hooks on them. And so if I, if I put them up so that they're sitting on the desk, but they're actually attached at the top, like anchored in, I can put hooks on them and hang little things. I can hang a calendar from them. I could hang a couple pictures up there. I can use them for decor, but I could also hang a couple shelves along the bottom and, um, and utilize them. But I think with a little bin and the desk that's there. This desk also has a pencil sharpener, an old pencil sharpener that still works like the kids are using it every day in the classroom. And it's an, an old salvage from, I bet you it's from the 60s, 60s, 70s maybe. So I'm gonna try to redo this space and this table a bit. For now, I'm gonna leave the bottom of the desk the finish because I'm not sure if I want to paint the whole desk white or if I want to put a darker color on the bottom. So right now I'm going to leave it and I'm just going to do the desktop and get some stuff on it. I can always shove something underneath the legs to protect the floor from paint and just sit down there and paint that after if I decide to. It'll be fairly simple. But for right now, it overhangs my, it doesn't overhang the window. It actually just goes about an inch shy of the window frame, but it does overhang the curtain a little bit. But I can, I can fix that. I can move the curtain over just a touch too, or leave it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't look bad the way it is. So I'm going to try to set this up for a place where I can do, um, I can sit and do my diamond painting. And I can just roll up my diamond painting and put it away and I can do, I can plan, uh, set my planner out so it's sitting out so that I can see it all the time so it's not on my kitchen table. So I can free up some kitchen table space. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'll be back I'm, and uh, I'll kind of show you how things progress as I move along the project. So see you in a bit. Oh, this is with just one coat of paint rolled on the top of this table. I am so stinking excited about how this is going to turn out. The one coat, I mean, it's not, 
it's not fantastic coverage. You can see the roller marks in it. But one more coat. I'm using this paint. It is a Beauty Tone Pearl Floor Enamel, just in white. And it should stand up just lovely. Now, I do have one of those um, pads that goes on the tabletop, uh, quite a large one. And it's a white with a gray marbling on one side and black with a light gray marbling on the other side. So it's reversible. So I'll see which side looks the best when I set my desk up. But guys, this is just going to be so, so nice. So, so nice. I can't wait to show you when it's done and it's all finished. Okay, guys. So this is how it turned out. And I am so very happy. So this is the desktop. I, as you can see, I didn't paint underneath the legs or anything like that. I do have this little set of drawers under here. The little cushion that you see that's just on the floor under the table. I... I sit my feet on that when I'm sitting there for quite a while because it just helps the tension in my back. But anyway, so uh, the tabletop, it's this beautiful white. I have a vintage old milk crate there turned on its side. And I have my planners. I have uh, my sketchbook and my little art journal in there. I have my diamond painting tools in there. Um, on top of it, I just have my Happy Planner Punch and a lamp. Now that lamp has jacks in it for the little um, USB cords to plug in. And this is task lighting and it'll hold my phone to record. And it keeps, every time I put my hand out there, it wants to go to focus. Anyway, so that's task lighting. I have a little riser there that I have some pens and pencils and a ruler on. My basket that holds all my Happy Planner um, sticker books. And then this is the vinyl. Well, it's actually like a, a faux, it's actually like a faux leather. Um, and it's a black marble on one side and it's beautiful white and gray marble on the other side that I, my husband got me for Christmas, which I just love. So I am so happy I decided to paint this desk. Uh, I, I, I just really am. I also have a little calendar, just a wall calendar there ready to go for April. And I don't know why March got torn off already. It's, I mean, March isn't done. So, but yeah, so this is a five foot long school desk. So lots of room on there. There is a ton of room on there for me to put a large sized diamond painting with the task lighting and my little light board is in here that goes underneath my diamond painting. I can sit here and I can diamond paint while I watch a movie, which is fabulous. Or I can put everything away, clean my desk off, and I'm all ready to go for a planning session or a paper crafting section, session, not section. These drawers down here have scissors, tape, all, that drawer there, right there, is completely full of uh, Sticky Club sticker kits, the uh, monthly subscription. I've done it for two complete years now. So I have a ton, just an absolute ton of these really gorgeous stickers that I am going to start using up in my books. I am, I'm right head over heels in love with this desk setup. And uh, yeah, it's just the prettiest little spot that I've ever had to craft in. I'm usually stuck in a corner. And one of my favorite things is that I can sit here with my planner in the morning with my cup of coffee. This was this morning's cup of coffee in my cat mom mug. And uh, yeah, so my next part of this project will be 
the pair of shutters that I'm going to paint white and mount on the wall behind and use to organize a few more things. And I will do an update once I get that done, but I'm not ready to do that just yet. So yeah, so if you liked what I showed you, then just let me know because I don't normally share this type of thing and um, and I'd love to. So yeah, yeah, um, that little riser that my pencils are sitting on, it looks like a teeny tiny little stool. The legs are only about four inches long on it, but I got that at a thrift shop a while back. And I just thought that because I didn't paint my bottom of my table, that I shouldn't paint that either. And I just painted the top and it makes a nice little accessory here to keep my tabletop a little tidier just loving it guys so if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and you want to see more of my videos then go ahead and hit that subscription button right now um, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this or let me know down in the comments and i'll know to share a few more projects like this as i do them and till the next video stay safe out there everybody love you guys bye bye for now